Today's video is coming at you because one of my viewers had made a comment of how my stove is always so clean and she wanted to know how I got it clean. So I thought I might as well show you how I do it because I'm going to go ahead and clean it today. It's Jody with All About the Harvest where I teach you how to grow, use, and preserve your harvest. And today I'm actually going to be recording a video for my channel on how to make elderberry syrup from dried elderberries. Before I recorded that video, I wanted to go ahead and clean my stove. And then I remember that viewer said that my stove was clean and wanted to know how to do it. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and record a video on how I clean my glass top stove. And I don't use any harsh chemicals. So if you're interested in learning how to do that, then you're in the right place. And make sure you stay till the end because I'm gonna share another tip that I just learned when I was preparing to clean my stove and it was absolutely mind blowing. So I'll share that with you at the end. All right, let's get started. There are some marks and things here. Some of this is just from kettles and things being pulled across here. And there is a little bit of food. There's some on the other side, but this is actually the one that we use the most. And so I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, sometimes obviously this looks worse. This doesn't look as bad as it it has in the past. And here's how I clean it. So it's very, very simple. I use baking soda. So simple, easy. I just pour baking soda in like a mason jar. This is a just a regular mason jar. And then I go ahead and I have, this is a, a ball herb shaker lid, but you could use like a Parmesan lid if it, it should fit on a regular type mason jar. So, and then, you know, I just use this to shake on. Now, the other thing that's important to use is like a non-adhesive scrubby. So my sister makes these. This is what we use. It's like a tool in a nylon, but you could use anything that's non-adhesive that's not going to, you know, scratch your surface. So basically what I do pretty simply is, you know, I get this wet and I shake this on and then I use some elbow grease to basically, you know, to get these off. Now, there's a couple other things that I would try as well, um, but let's go ahead and get this wet and then let's shake some of this on and see what happens. So I'm just getting that wet and just gonna kind of wet this and then shake on the baking soda. And obviously you can do this around your whole stove. I'm just, for this video, I'm just gonna concentrate on this. And you might have to get it wet again. And if you need a little extra, then I will show you what I do in those cases. I put a lot of baking soda. I'm gonna move some of that off because I'm gonna do the rest of the stove top but just to kind of get this area. Now this is works really well, like especially if you have food that has, you know, burnt on your stovetop or, you know, my husband, sometimes he'll make rice and he will accidentally let it boil over. And so then you'll get that and it'll burn on there. And this is really good for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this wet again. So let me grab a towel here just to kind of wipe this and see what it looks like. Yeah, and you can see some of those other spots are gone. Now, obviously there's some scratches in here, but if for some reason you needed some additional help, then what I do is I have um, vinegar. So I literally just have vinegar. I have it in this bottle. It's just a bottle obviously I got from Walmart and I spray that on and you could, you could spray it on first and I've done that. Um, and then what I'll do, you could add some of that baking soda back that I had over there. It'll kind of fizz up, you'll see that. And then I'll rub that around. That baking, that vinegar will give it just a little extra, you know, action, cleaning power, if you will. So 
and you can follow it up with a rig, obviously. So what I do is I kind of go over it like this and then I clean it off, I wipe it off, and then I see what's under it. So let me just take a rig and do that. Obviously I have to do the rest of this, but you can see it looks better already. There was some food that was on here that is not on there. There was a mark over here that's not on here. You know, some of these things are not food. It's just, you know, moving the canner around or different things like that. So if you feel like you need to do it a little bit more, then go ahead and use use it again and just kind of keep going over it if it's pretty bad. I mean, ours wasn't really bad at all, um, but this works really good, especially if you have that food that is burnt on. So this is what I recommend. This is how I clean it. You could, instead of starting with water, again, just start with the vinegar. And when you spray that vinegar on the baking soda, it also kind of creates a, a cleaning effect as well. Okay, so now for the other tip that I told you to stay till the end for. So when I am going to clean my stovetop, a lot of times I'm cleaning my microwave and I'm cleaning under the microwave because sometimes food and things like that can splash up under that. And I really use the microwave personally just for the fan portion of it. But I do a lot of cooking and I do a lot of canning. And so when I looked under it, I saw that we have a filter under there. And I took the filter out just now for you to see. And this is what the filter looks like, okay? It's like a metal filter. It goes directly under here. This is where it is, okay? It slides in. This filter had a bunch of like grease and stuff on it. So there was parts of it where you couldn't really see through as well. I guess I didn't realize you could take this thing off. And so what I did is I put this in the sink and I tried a new cleaning product that I have never tried before, but it is supposed to be wonderful on grease. And I'm gonna show you what it is. It is called Super Clean. It says Tough Task Cleaner Degreaser, dissolves grease, super easy, super fast. It's a biodegradable detergent. I tried this on it. I literally put this in my kitchen sink and I sprayed a few sprays on the back side and I flipped it over and I sprayed a few sprays on this top side. And then I left it in the sink and then I went to wash my hands in our other bathroom and came back, finished my glass of milk, and then I rinsed it off in the kitchen sink. And the grease and everything just completely washed away, completely clean, looked like this. I didn't have to scrub it, I didn't do anything. Within a minute to two minutes at the most, this was clean. I was super, super impressed. I'm also letting you know that if you have some really heavy duty, greasy things, this might be the ticket for you. This can be found at like Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, Amazon. I'll actually link to it in the description below this video. I am going to test this on my stainless steel. So I have a stainless steel refrigerator and stainless steel dishwasher and they get water spots on them. And even with my stainless steel with like stainless steel cleaner, it doesn't get as clean as I would like it to. This product says that you can dilute it 16 to one with water and use it on the stainless steel. So I'm gonna try that. And then the, another way that you can use it that I'm going to try, and I'll do videos on these. So if you are interested, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you know when that video comes out. Uh, the, so the stainless steel one I can do soon if needed, but the other one that I'm gonna do, which I have to wait until it's warm out, is out on our concrete. So on our concrete, my husband, he grills on our Traeger. He does some smoking for us. And there have been like grease stains on our sidewalk. He does it like right up by our front door. And so there are these grease stains that we tried the pressure washer on. I tried some other things. I tried multiple things to clean these grease spots. It hasn't done the job, they're still there. And so, I am definitely trying this. Now they, this also comes with the same formula, but like in a spray foam, they also have some other products. So I'm gonna try that and I'm actually going to do a video on that, but because we're in Wisconsin, 
It is currently snowing, so I have to wait till it's warmer out to do that. So if you're interested in trying this product for yourself, again, I'll link it in the description below. I just wanted to put that out there. It's amazing. So I highly recommend it if you're interested in that. Um, otherwise, for your flat top stoves, go ahead and use that baking soda and vinegar and like a non-abrasive pad and that should help. All right, well, that's it for today's video. I hope you found this useful. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you hit that notification bell to get notifications when I release a new video, then you'll know when I release the video on cleaning the stainless steel, as well as doing the concrete outside. Until next time, enjoy your clean stove.